Bluffer. Titties on your tongue like an ice cream. Say he wanna lick it like an ice cream. Say he wanna lick it until ice cream. He said, them the biggest titties that I've seen. Yeah, titties on your tongue like an ice cream. Hey guys, it's me, Lani. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are a returning subscriber, you know I F with you heavy. And if you haven't like ever heard about me or seen my face ever before, then where you've been, it's lit over here. Um, I wasn't expecting to do this video, but I just thought it would be like a good way for me to like kind of close the door in 2022. So here I am. But I wasn't expecting to do this video because this video is kind of like a sad video. It's kind of like a bad vibes to me in a way. Um, however, it is my life. So I feel like, you know, whatever. It'll be good to like put all the... It'll be good to put it behind me kind of thing. Oh my God. I've got some like stick on nails because I want to start doing ASMR guys. And um, they literally are so... They just don't stay on. Just falling off. <laughs> They just yeah also i just want to say sorry about that i can't hear myself i need to hear myself um also i have a mic i know i've been on youtube for like four years and now i have a mic i have never had a mic so i should sound way better than i've ever sounded before i wish i had the mic when i was um filming my documentary i know i keep going on about my documentary but it's actually going to come out um i just need to film with the tattoo person and i think we're filming next saturday so early definitely january but um yeah i just wish i did my sound would be good but then the rest of everyone else's will be a bit yeah but anyway you'll still enjoy it i'm sure so the reason i'm doing this video is just um i don't know i just feel like i haven't let you guys in that much this year on my life i feel like with me i'm somebody that doesn't open up as much whilst i'm struggling more after when like i guess things are getting a bit better so obviously the other day i had like a meltdown on um people who follow me on snapchat would have seen it first i had like 200 screenshots so i kind of knew people were going to speak about it but i didn't know it was going to be posted on the shade borough but it is what it is um my tick um in usually um when i say usually i mean what i mean by that is like um if you look at if I, if you look at the past or if i was to assess um the way the shade bar works usually they don't usually grab stuff on my snapchat my snapchat is kind of like low-key it's not private but it feels private because um my stuff on this on snapchat doesn't get posted anywhere it doesn't get posted or any my stuff on Snapchat never get, gets posted on blogs and stuff. I feel like Instagram is um, where they grab my stuff from. I don't have Twitter. So I feel like it's always Instagram. Sometimes TikTok, but mainly Instagram. So sometimes when I talk on there, I don't know. I just feel like I, I'm, I'm with my own like my own lot and it's kind of private. Um, but I was wrong because I did all of that and then it ended up on the Shade Borough. Great. Um, I kind of just did it spur of the moment. I was really emotional. My breakup. I'm not going to... Um, do a story to me about how I met her and how the relation was and all of that. Just because, not that it would be pointless, but um, my relationship was not non-problematic. She was a great person. She was a great girl. So like, I don't know what you guys want to know. Maybe if we, if we ever got back together, then we could do one. But for now, no. I'm more going to talk about why we've broken up. Um... yeah yeah so before i get into it i will just say like the reason i acted like that is because i was in shock and i just felt like telling you lot i didn't feel like telling people on shade borough because they're awful to me but i felt like telling you lot for support because i felt shit. um it was really unexpected, really out of nowhere, and I feel like I just kind of panicked. And at first I thought she can't be serious, like when she messaged me, you know, when she messaged me, um, the whole, she messaged something like, the first thing she did say was, I don't think we're compatible, so I knew where that was leading. 
so I panicked and stuff and I just I just wanted to scream and explode but before I get into I, I'm going to circle back to this um yeah I'm going to circle back to that I just want to paint a picture of 2022 um because there's of things that you guys don't know I have had a hard 2022 but even a harder 2021 um 2022 got better but it wasn't the best year and 2023 will be even better than all of that the reason 2021 wasn't that great is because um my sister got herself in like some trouble financially like loads of money i know yeah um and she's the one i got the mortgage with um so when we got the mortgage i assumed when we had a two bed right and you might not be able to tell from pictures but my apartment is bigger than the average two bed apartment like it's kind of big um very high ceilings like it can't just not have furniture in there it would look really empty um we've got a big balcony it's just it's just it's, just, it's got a, quite a lot of space but it's really hard until you're in there to see it but um we were planning to furnish that together and then she got in this mess I don't want to say what she did, but just imagine, like, somebody believing the hype of a business venture, like crypto or something, giving all their money, like, loads of money that they can't afford, like, over 10k to a bad business move, and then it doesn't work out, and they loan, they even borrowed the money in the first place to put into it, because they thought it was a done deal, and then it flopped. So, basically, she, she's in debt now. Um, and I have the pressure of, I, I, you have to understand when I got that place, I always thought that we would go 50, 50. So now I feel like I have to pay for, well, not feel, I have to pay for everything. We're paying for the mortgage. So you have to understand on top of my salary, um, and on top of, so you have a salary, then you have bills, right? Your car, your yard, your, like your, your mortgage, cool. But then on top of your bills, you have to put furniture in your flat. And, um, you know, I don't have, I, I'm not trying to make anyone feel sorry for me, but I don't, I don't want the cheapest furniture. I don't want a sofa for a hundred pounds. Like who does, you know, you want a sofa for a grand. You want a sofa for 1.5 K. You want a dining table. That's at least like 300, 400 pounds. Like that's not even top, top of the line shit. Like that's just like nice stuff. Um, so it just got, it got a lot. And then on top of that, like. Okay, so my sister then, because she got herself in that situation, she started struggling mentally. And she was struggling at work because she felt so awful about the situation she was in. So she, uh, my sister's an accountant, and she just struggled. Like, at work, she ended up getting let go from, like, basically two jobs in the space of three months. And um, I said to her, I remember saying to her, you know what, it's okay that you're going through a hard time, but I don't think going... Because she's quite, like, she's quite... I wouldn't say she's up there, but she, she earns good money as an accountant. She's she's not, like, starter level. She's, like, intermediate. She's, you know, over 40K. And I just said to her, I just don't think you can do it at the moment. You're very stressed out and you need to heal from what's happened. So I, thought, I said to her, just get yourself a menial labour job, like, you know, like, retail. Um, something you can do... And something that will allow you the time to heal. So she done that. She got that. Kind of, she got that job. Um, but obviously her salary is now coughed. So um, she can't contribute to. She, she's she's got the debt to pay back. She can't contribute to um, certain things with the house. We always had little problems with leaks, and it was just jarring. Um, and I feel like I'm paying for everything, including sometimes just um, groceries. I'm literally paying for for it all. And then you don't want to put pressure on your sister because she's going through it mentally. So I feel like indirectly that affected the reason I didn't put out like music videos and stuff. I know I did. I've done the ice cream song, but I want that song to come up when it's warmer. So I just, just, it was meant, I know I filmed it ages ago, but yeah, it's just I'm waiting for the show I did in abroad to drop and then I'll do I'll I'll drop the song but the point is 
I could have done more. I could have done more. It's not just about music. I, I am somebody who I f think I do very, I do fun content. And sometimes content takes takes money. And like when you don't have spare cash because you're spending it all on your sisters and stuff, it, it's very difficult. Now, I want to make something very clear because a lot of people know that my dad has a very, very, very good job. So my dad could have, in theory, bailed me and my sisters out. Now, um, unfortunately, um, I, I never asked my dad. I don't like asking my parents unless, you know, I like, bro, like when it's like dire, then I'll ask them. Um, my dad, um, he's fine, but sometimes um, his health isn't great. Like he, um, he had some complications you know, I'm not going to say what, but he just had some complications. Um, stuff that, like, is very worrying. And, um... I know my... My dad, he's one of those macho men who wants to provide for his family. He wants to build his wife a bigger house. He wants to look after his kids. Now, what's very important... I'm, I'm so sorry if I'm like being slow at telling this, but yeah, it's a lot. Um, and I also don't want to say too much, so I'm trying to control what I say, but allow you guys to feel me. So my dad, um, I have two sisters. So obviously, like I've said, one of them, she's put herself in some debt. The second one, um, she's about 26. Um, she decided she didn't want, she studied chemistry in uni and she decided she didn't want to be a chemist no more. So she said she wants to retrain. So while she, she goes back to uni to do a master's to retrain in a different career. While she's doing that, she gets a part-time job. Only part-time. So she hasn't got as much money as she maybe used to when she had a full-time job. And she's just doing menial labor as well, just to pay for her car and stuff like that. But you have to remember, my parents are in Africa. So before, me and my sister used to split, split the bills three ways. So we've got, obviously, there's a mortgage. But then we've got our yard in North London. And... Um, if there's a problem with the boiler, we will split it three ways. Food, we'll split it three ways. Whatever. But it got to a point where I felt like I was covering most of it. Um, my mum and dad are paying... Sorry. Whilst my younger sister's retraining, my mum and dad are paying for her education. My mum and dad are paying for her... So she needed extra tutoring because her course is really hard. And you guys know how much tutoring is. It's so expensive, yeah? So sometimes my dad would be spending a grand on my sister a month, right? My little sister, so she could retrain in this field. Um, and then on top of that, he is looking after my mum, um, investing in their farm and covering all their bills, basically. Do you know what I mean? And then he had like health, things like his, with his health that wasn't great. So I didn't want to put more pressure on my dad by adding an, an extra bill. Um, yeah, I didn't want to put more pressure on my dad by adding an extra bill. Like, of course, he would help me in a heartbeat and he could give me an extra £500 a month. But um, when your dad is already showing signs of part of the reason my dad is probably um like having complications obviously it might be just his body in general it might be, might be biology but something that adds to people not doing well is stress can't add stress to my dad's plate so me i'll be there begging for um promo on snap and stuff like that before i ask my mum and dad for money <sighs> you know my mum all she has is my dad 
um apparently he's retiring next year i hope he does he just works himself to the ground to provide a lifestyle and a dream um but i feel like his health is it's not the best sometimes we chase money and success so much that we neglect ourselves it's the truth so i felt like this year i stepped up as a big sister and i was spending a lot of money on my siblings hey guys i just forgot to mention that my sister she um who's in the masters she studies and she goes to work part-time and my dad has basically she sometimes she struggles with that because it's a bit it's a bit it's a lot so my dad has um, offered to pay her bills for like six months to a year so she's not gonna go you know to work at all so he's gonna pay all her bills and she doesn't have small bills she's got a car she's you know what i mean she's got like growing up bills now so he'll be paying for her education out of pocket and on out of pocket as well he'll be paying for um her bills so that's like every month he's gonna go have a two slash three k bill for her and i just i just don't want to add to that i just feel like these are part of the reasons he you know he gets sick because it's just a lot of pressure and um, I just didn't have a lot of disposable income, which is fine. It's, it's such as life. Um, also, when it came to my career, my personal career in real life, um, I was doing freelance. I've stopped working full time. I was doing freelance and um, initially, like in the pandemic and just after the pandemic, like I wanted to charge a certain amount of money, but like just a lot of companies would not be able to pay you more they would want to pay you a certain price so you're you're stagnant so it's not like i've had a pay cut i still earn the same amount of money but it's like i wasn't progressing i, I didn't i couldn't i wasn't if i wanted to charge more like people are not willing to pay more so it's, it's like ultimately it's like not having a pay rise you're just making the same amount of money and i've been making the same amount of money for three years it's only recently like this christmas that um I was able to get a deal that was higher so like next year i'll be bringing in more money than i was last year if that makes sense but for three years i've been stagnant i've been making the same amount of money for the last three years and obviously if i can make extra money on youtube and stuff but in terms of my personal nine to five or my personal freelance work it was stagnant um yeah so it wasn't fun I guess, I don't know, I just guess I put my head down and like I just got on with it. I didn't want to embarrass anyone, so I didn't want to talk about my, my stuff. But um, that's just how it goes. My mum and dad next year, they're, they're, they've got a property, um, they've got like a flat in Enfield and they're gonna, they're in the process of selling it. And part of the reason my mum said she wants to sell it is because she feels like it's so unnecessary for um, different family members, my sister, stuff like that, or my dad. Hi guys, it's Christmas day. I thought I'd be okay, but I just feel shit. Um, I felt like I was in a safe relationship and I don't know, I just felt like it would work. I don't know what's perfect, but I thought we could work things out. I felt safe. I just... I wasn't safe. How do you go from saying to someone that you want to spend your life with them to this? You know, I'm gonna get out of bed now because I just like start my day because yeah being in bed is I hate being in bed it's cruel it's awful I'll be distracted and watch a movie if I wake up now oh 
Okay. <sighs> Sorry, my um battery died. I had to change it. I had to swap it. So finally, <sighs> my um friggin' I met a girl. I wasn't looking. Um, it just happened. Um we had a very Shit. My bad. Keeps getting caught. Um yeah, I met a girl. Yeah, sorry. I met a girl. We had a very very great relationship. Um, it was very fast. It was very, very fast. Um, she treated me like a princess. She treated me the best that anyone's ever treated me in my life, if I'm honest. She would randomly surprise me with gifts. She would randomly surprise me with flowers she was just so romantic she was so giving I feel like if anything she it, for, I'll be honest I feel like she gave more than I did even emotionally I feel like I was late to the party I feel like part of the reason I was late to the party was more because Of trauma um, when people date me I'll be real and I think obviously you should be like this because you, you have to protect yourself but when people date me I have like I feel like I have a facade and I act very very nonchalant the way I am online or on back chat or when I'm screaming, that's not how I am when I date. Like, when I date someone, I'm very, I'm very cool. Like, I don't feel like I'm, I'm talking about in the beginning stages, I just feel like I'm not, like, overly, like, keen and stuff like that. And, um, I feel like she couldn't read me initially, but eventually she was so consistent with her behaviour that I, I obviously, like, I felt I felt safe so I allowed myself to fall for her um, the way the relationship ended was very abrupt um, she just I personally felt like she was acting off, not for ages, for me personally, I felt like she had been acting off for a day or two, and then I just kind of asked her, but I didn't mean it, you know, you're like, you're like, why are you being like this, like, do you, do you not want to be with me or something, like, I was just being dumb, and then instead of her to say no, she basically said, yeah, like, I don't think it's working kind of thing, and I was just like, what? Yeah, I was, like, really shocked. Um... yeah right now i'm in the grieving process this is a different breakup for me than others in the past when i've pe things have gone wrong the people have been bad people they have been rude they've been undeserving of my love they've been ungrateful so I cried because I loved them and they didn't maybe reciprocate or they didn't deserve it this is different this is 
this is somebody who was deserving this is somebody who was a beautiful soul I have never had somebody love me the way she loved me I'm going to miss her. I will. She's such an, she's such a, like, such a good person. I wish I could go back and do more. Not, not to save the relationship because she deserves it. She was really good to me, guys. I know it's negative, but I just feel like, will someone ever treat me the way she treated me? No. I can't stand the fact that we are here. And I don't want necessarily to have conversations with her. I don't. I really like at the moment I'm doing some graphics for her because I started it and then after that I'm gonna like basically obviously not speak to her and I hope she doesn't speak to me either but she she deserves the world I don't I wouldn't want her to be with someone else but if she has to be she has to be she is such a good person feel like I even took her for granted I didn't I just didn't think we were gonna ever break up so it didn't it didn't I just I don't know she was beautiful guys it was well, on my sister's birthday she bought my sister a, my, my sister a present Christmas just gone she asked me what my sisters would like she was gonna buy them something small I didn't say anything because I thought it was, not that it was unnecessary but I was just like no babes like you keep your money she decorated a hotel room for me twice like flowers balloons she got me a steady super all the time she's just so nice like look it says Lani, I love you. I have to heal. I have to move on from this. But problem is, I know like one of the main rules with healing is because I've been broken before. Dif differently but i've been heartbroken before and i i know one of the fundamental rules is you have to want you have to want to heal you have to want to move on i need to get to the place where i want to move on but it's very difficult i'm not there yet i'm not there yet She was an angel. Like, I... I don't want to say I was a bitch, but... 
I could have been better. The problem I feel like with most of us, I feel like a lot of you, a lot of my supporters are good people. A lot of us have the capability to look after people and love people the way they deserve, but where there's so many awful people and so many vultures, you can't give your love to anybody. So what happens is sometimes like you have this wall up and this guard up and you're a bit standoffish when you meet people. And sometimes the people you're being standoffish like are actually the angels, the ones that deserve your love. There's so many things that I did for people that were undeserving. I wish I could just take all of those things and give this to her. I don't really want to think about it too much because it's it's very it's like very triggering. But the fact that it's over with my with my queen is very very upsetting because she is a wonderful beautiful soul. And I hope she 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 um needs this time and i hope she gets and um, finds what she needs during this time and no matter what i just want i just want god to bless her if i want a million pounds tomorrow i would give her a hundred grand like she she's a good person man she she's such a good person she's an angel you know people say that about me and i think that's what i see in her the way she treated me the first time um she did something romantic for me like it was literally like our second date and she sent a car to my house and it took me to this hotel and she literally decorated the room and rose petals and everything she's just so romantic and then she did that re recently to for our like little Chris, it was it was basically my girlfriend day because she hadn't officially asked me so she asked me on that day and she decorated the room and then we went to Winter Wonderland and there was a gift on the bed it was like a little Vivian Westwood bracelet and um I literally put the bracelet like at the bottom of a suitcase like when I was angry when, I, when she said she couldn't do it anymore I like took the, the, the bracelet and put it at the bottom of the suitcase because I was just like can't look at this anymore I was so upset. I didn't want to look at it. I didn't want to. I, I just didn't want it to be around me. And you know what's really strange? I can be around this. Maybe because I find it comforting. I can't look at the bracelet. I just. When I look at. Like a, the bracelet for instance. It makes me think. It, it just makes me think. how did you give me this and then dump me like i don't know it just makes me think why don't you love me it's besides the point because she says she does and it's other things but in the back of my mind about what she says it's like it makes me keep thinking no she she doesn't love me because she's left me she doesn't love me she's left me <sighs> regardless I need to get to the point where I want to actually move on. Um, at the moment, I don't fully. I kind of get, suppose I want her to come to her senses. It's really hard for me to want to move on because she was so good to me. Like, I feel, I just want, I just want to, I kind of just want to give her the world. That's how I feel. I want to fix all her problems for her i don't want her to have any problems i want to take them all away but i can't how can i i just can't maybe one day i can i can't right now i want to help her
But yeah, I think I see herself in me. I see her. I see me in her. I used to be so vulnerable and loving. It's just, it's a beautiful thing, guys. And people take it for granted and you and abuse people like that. It's so lovely when someone loves you. So lovely. I don't want to cry for the whole day. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I'll be okay. Um, I'll be okay. Praying for my ex. I want nothing but the best for her. Nothing but the best for her. And anyway, guys, now I've got my mic. I'm going to be doing ASMR. <laughs> no, my YouTube channel. Like, I'll probably make a new one. But I'm going to definitely do it on TikTok Live because I've seen so many people do it on TikTok Live. Make sure you um, follow me on TikTok and catch me doing ASMR. But yeah, um, I just want to say as well, just to you lot, like, I know, like, I have a lot of um, people that don't understand me and they like to laugh at me. Sorry. Um, I'm never ashamed of anything I do. I'm just a book. I feel like a lot of people online are, like, not my friends, but they're people online who, like, really, like, F with me and care for me. And um, I do my... When, I, when I'm speaking, I'm speaking to those people. I'm not speaking to all the negative haters why would I be you know I you know even if like only 500 people watch this it's the 500 people that care about me you know um I just if you're going for a breakup I just hope that you take the time you need but most importantly you need to get to the point where you actually want to move on and heal and uh, make sure you are not communicating with your ex it's not it's very important i need to get to that stage but i just have to finish this um graphics for them but just thank you so much for being there for me thank you people who like support me and um don't people who just like fight my corner and get me and not the negative nancy's so of the world also a lot of people have been moving to me recently I, I find it very strange um mainly because like not because people didn't move to me before but i'll be real with you people didn't move to me when i was crying over tion because i think everyone thought i was in love with tion and of recent um so when the tion stuff died down i started to get moved to more in my dms and stuff but like oh my god i'm getting moved to quite a lot since this happened which is really weird um i think people just don't take girl and girl relationships seriously so they probably think i'll be over it in two days maybe that's what it is but um i'm happy that i'm out there and i'm dating and i'm haven't let the shackles of tion wayne ruin my life and a lot of people think i'm I've gone to women because of of Tion. It's nothing to do with that. It was just a natural thing that happened. Um Yeah, it was natural. I have no problem with men and I would marry a man if he was a good man. I have no issues with men. I don't hate men. So yeah. In peace. Until the next video, which will be my documentary. <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed it'll be my documentary. Bye guys. Tees on your tongue like an ice cream. Say he wanna lick it like an ice cream. Say he wanna lick it until ice cream. He said them the biggest tees that I've seen. Yeah, tees on your tongue like an.